Okay, as you can see here, this is the cross head, and here we're gonna have the tail rotor uh, assembly nut, and here we're gonna have the flapping stop. And we're trying to see if this section here on both sides, you got two sizes, are not bent. Okay, and you can use a, a, a square um, ruler, six inch ruler, and you can see it's kind of straight. Now, uh, they're having some issues because uh, if it, sometimes even manufacturing this flapping stop, they might have a little bend on manufacturing, and that is okay. What you're trying to find is like uh, the little picture I put it on the video when there's too much bend on this one. Um, and a little short story what, how this happened. In 1996, there was an accident that the joke broke right here and that was on uh, uh, the Gulf of Mexico so it cracked the yoke and just pretty much one blade went off completely with the yoke and everything of course the vibration was pretty bad now what happened is in the past the the flapping stops this one here used to be all filled with metal was not with that little cutout that little cutout is where really in a way make it like a fuse it's like a weak point that if the flapping is too strong it will bend the flapping stop giving you an indication there was too much stress and that's the case and you for sure seeing this uh, flapping stop bend uh, a lot the flapping stop and the yoke are throwing away when they come up with this uh, a um, asb in 1996 uh, they made a mistake. They were telling you that you need to throw away the flapping stop, the yoke, and the trunnion, uh, which is not correct. They correct it later, but really, nowadays, the only thing you're going to be throwing away is going to be the flapping stop and the yoke. Uh, this is the latest one, and this is the dash 103. This is flapping stop, is the one. Another uh, point of observation for you guys. You can install this backwards if you don't pay attention. If you look at this cut out here, uh, this flat part can be installed by mistake backward with this cut out outside. And uh, if you look at it here, we're going to have a little bit of an angle, and that allows you for some flapping on the system. And uh, one incident, uh, they installed this backward. And the reaction from the pilot was uh, this helicopter, that helicopter was flying weird, whatever that means. And they cut it right away because the only job they did before that flight was uh, replacing the tail rotor. And uh, they cut this right away after the first flight. So make sure that this is installed correctly with the cutout and the angle here facing the yoke or inboard if you want. Everything I explain to you on this side, you're going to be looking at both sizes. It's kind of hard to have a bending in one one side, but anyways, you go here and you check the other one. Kind of hard this one because it has a bolt in there, but pretty much it's good, okay? And you have to do this every 25 hours. Thank you and have a great day. Pablo Linares, HDI Global.